Yeah. Uh, you put your switch. Oops! Jävlar! Do you like arcade games? Like, so much you would love an arcade machine, but you don't have the space or the, you know, the money, the funds to get that arcade game. If your answer is yes to all those questions, you should get this. Toki Retrolector Edition. Now I'm gonna tell you why you should get this. Toki was originally an arcade game that came in 1989. I remember playing that game quite a lot. I was as sucky playing games back then as I am now, but I played it quite a few times. I was super stoked when I saw that there was a, a new version of this game, because I liked it so much back in the late 80s. I wasn't too happy when I played the game. The game is a reboot with hand-drawn graphics, and uh, I can say that, for me at least, the thing that makes this worth the money is the actual collection. The collection comes with this outer sleeve with pretty nice uh, graphics. I'm not too fond of this this type of graphic. It kind of looks like uh, you know uh, a back patch you would have on your jean vest back in 1996 with this cool monkey dude. It's uh, the, the complete front is pretty nice, but I'm not too happy about the character design. It's not my style. When you take off the sleeve, you get this collector's box. And inside the box, there's loads of fun stuff. It looks like this. We're gonna take a look at each of the parts here. You have this, uh, a uh, comic book with, uh, you know, the characters from the game, Toki and his girlfriend uh, Miho. This comic book is in French and English. So you just flip it like that. You also get these two, I think they say that it's lithographs. So you have this with art from the game. Mm, that one. And these are actually signed down here. I'm not sure if if it's printed or if it's really signed, but I would guess printed unless this guy wants to sign 250 billion of these art pieces. The next thing we get, the last next to last thing before the last thing is a sticker sheet. I guess you can put them on your toothbrush or water bottle or car or something. Uh, I'm gonna let them be in, in the box. The last thing you get is an arcade game in a plastic bag. And the easiest way to put it together is like this. That's it, the nearly impossible to put together Toki Arcade Cabinet. Yeah, uh, you put your switch. Oops! Jävlar! Ja, men den där gick ju som... Ja, det tar ju inte den där. I think we, we broke uh, the computer here, but that's okay. Uh, the switch is probably safe. It fell twice into the floor. What I was gonna say is, I'm not happy that the switch falls away like that. So, uh, you know, it should be like that. It's a small arcade cabinet where you can put your switch and play like this. This, I would say, this, this arcade cabinet makes the, the collection worth it. Uh, the game is... 
kind of basic. It's a bit like, you know, a free to play game or something, but you basically have just start when you uh, enter the game. You don't have any settings or anything that I've seen and the game gets, you know, tedious after a while. I know it's it's a work of love. They put huge amounts of work into it and it probably looks good for for a lot of people, but for me it didn't remind me too much of the old arcade game that I liked. Uh, like I said, it's it's still a pretty nice game, I would say, for a lot of people, but not to me. The collection is definitely worth it because you get this nice, nice arcade game. I bought this collection at the Swedish retailer called Spelbutiken.se. So if you're in Sweden, you can follow the link and buy this for about 450 kroners. I bought it during a discount, so I got it cheaper. I think it's 478 now, but when I got it, it was like 150 kroners cheaper. So for me, it was a great deal to get it. If you haven't before, check out spelbutiken.se in Sweden because they, they have got a good uh, you know, amount of, uh, of games at good prices and always free shipping. Until next time, have fun and take care and please subscribe if you haven't because we really need it. Take care. See ya.